Have you ever wondered what would happen if you were buried alive? A chilling thought, isn't it? Let's delve into the fear of premature burial, a phobia known as taphophobia. This fear isn't just a product of our modern imaginations, it has historical roots that run deep and they're as dark as the earth itself. Picture the 19th century, a time when medical science wasn't as advanced as it is today. The line between life and death wasn't as clear-cut. A person in a coma or a deep unconscious state could easily be mistaken for dead, and the dreadful mistake of burying someone alive was not unheard of. The fear of such a horrifying fate was a very real one. This fear reached its peak during the cholera epidemics of the 19th century. Cholera, a severe bacterial infection, often caused people to fall into a death-like state. Their pulse would become faint, breathing nearly imperceptible. With limited medical knowledge many were declared dead and buried hastily due to the fear of the disease spreading. Now imagine, being in such a state, unconscious but alive, and then waking up to find yourself in the dark confinement of a coffin buried six feet under. The mere thought sends shivers down your spine, doesn't it? But, it's not just the fear of being buried alive that's terrifying. It's the fear of the unknown, the fear of what comes next, the fear of not being able to escape, of running out of air, of being trapped in darkness forever. It's a fear that speaks to our primal instincts, our innate desire for survival. And yet, this fear is not entirely baseless. The tales of premature burial are not just stuff of legends or horror fiction. They're a part of our collective human history, a chilling reminder of our mortality and the uncertainty that surrounds it. So as we delve deeper into this fear, let's remember that it's not just a phobia, it's a reflection of our collective human consciousness, our shared anxieties and fears. Now imagine what if this fear turned into reality? So you find yourself waking up in a dark enclosed space, you're disoriented, panicked, you quickly realize the grim reality, you've been buried alive. Let's imagine this scenario. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Our protagonist, let's call him John, woke up to this very reality. He found himself in a pitch black world, his senses clouded by the fear of an unimaginable predicament. His heartbeat echoed inside his own ears, each thud a stark reminder of his dire situation. A wave of panic swept over John, his heart pounded in his chest like a drum, the rhythm growing faster and faster. His breathing grew shallow, each breath a desperate gasp for air, a struggle against the suffocating darkness that surrounded him. His hands, slick with sweat, clawed at the wooden confines of his premature tomb. The sharp stench of damp earth filled his nostrils, a grim testament to his predicament. John was alone with his terror. The darkness was absolute, a void that swallowed all hope, all reason. It was a claustrophobic nightmare, a space so small that every breath he took seemed to shrink it further. His mind was filled with images of his life above ground, the sunlit world he'd been ripped away from. Each memory was a painful reminder of what he'd lost, of the world that was so close yet so painfully out of reach. His body was trapped, but his mind was free to wander, and it did, spiraling into a vortex of despair. His thoughts ran wild, each more terrifying than the last. He imagined the weight of the earth above him, the tons of dirt pressing down on his coffin. The thought of it was crushing both physically and mentally. But then, something shifted within John, a spark of defiance flared up in the darkness. He refused to let his fear consume him, he refused to let this be his end. He was not ready to surrender, not ready to become just another forgotten soul swallowed by the earth. But. Our protagonist didn't give in to despair, he decided to fight his way out. In the direst of situations, the human spirit can show incredible strength and determination. Imagine this, you're buried alive, encased in a coffin with only the crushing darkness for company. Panic would be the most overwhelming instinct, but our survivor knew better. Panic would only consume the precious oxygen faster. Staying calm was the first step in this dire situation. He turned his thoughts to survival. The human body can survive for about five minutes without oxygen. But in a coffin, the air supply isn't cut off entirely. A small supply trickles in through the gaps between the soil and the wood. The task was to conserve this life-giving gas. Shallow breaths, slow heart rate, minimal movement, these became the mantras of survival. He had to extend the five minutes to hours, maybe even days. Every breath became a carefully measured act, every heartbeat a ticking clock, but survival isn't just about the physical, it's a mental game as well. The mind, when faced with such an extreme situation, can crumble into despair, or it can rise to the challenge. Our survivor chose the latter. He started to devise a plan. The coffin, his prison, became his focus. 
He felt the wood with his hands gauging its strength, its weaknesses. He tried to remember everything he knew about coffins, about wood, about soil. He knew he needed to break the coffin lid. But when? And how? The pressure of the earth above was formidable but he knew that the lid would give way eventually, timing was crucial. Too early, and the rush of earth could suffocate him, too late and he might run out of oxygen. He had to endure, he had to survive. The physical challenges were daunting, the mental trials even more so, but he was determined, he was not going to let this be his end. And then, something unexpected happened. Just when all hope seemed lost, a faint ray of light broke through. Imagine the feeling of despair giving way to a fleeting spark of hope. Our protagonist, buried alive, had been fighting against the encroaching darkness, the suffocating silence, the chilling embrace of the grave, but then, a miracle. A small crack in the coffin, a sliver of light cutting through the pitch-black tomb. It was a battle of life against death. Our friend, buried six feet under, didn't succumb to despair. Instead, he rallied every ounce of strength, every fiber of his being to fight back. He clawed at the wooden barrier, adrenaline fueling his desperate struggle. Splinters dug into his skin, blood mixed with sweat, but he didn't stop. He couldn't. His life depended on it. The crack widened, the light grew brighter, his heart pounded like a drum, echoing the frantic rhythm of his struggle. Every breath was a victory, every heartbeat a testament to his will. He was not going to die today. Not here. Not like this. And then, finally, he broke through. His hands raw and bleeding burst forth from the grave, reaching out to the world above. The earth gave way and he pulled himself out of the crypt that was meant to be his final resting place. Gasping for air, he laid there on the ground, feeling the cool night air on his face, the solid earth beneath him. He was alive. Against all odds, he had survived. The overwhelming sense of relief washed over him like a tidal wave. His heart sang with the joy of a thousand suns. He had cheated death, escaped the jaws of the grave. His ordeal was over, but the memory of it would haunt him forever. It was a grim reminder of the fragility of life, the transient nature of existence. But what can we learn from this terrifying experience? The story of survival against all odds can teach us several things. As we journey through the chilling narrative of being buried alive, we've seen how fear can grip us, how unfortunate events can unfold the desperate fight for survival, and the miraculous escape from the depths. Let's take a moment to unpack these lessons from the dark. The fear of premature burial, a phobia that might seem unfathomable to many, is a stark reminder of our innate fear of the unknown and the unseen. It's a metaphorical representation of the fears that lurk within us, often buried deep, waiting to surface. But remember, just as we can confront and overcome the fear of being buried alive, we can also face and conquer our personal fears. In the unfortunate event of being buried alive, we saw a representation of life's unexpected adversities that can suddenly pull us into darkness. These are the challenges that catch us off guard, testing our resilience. But, as we've seen, even in the face of such adversity, there's always a way to fight back. The fight for survival, as intense as it was, stands as a testament to the strength of human spirit. It shows us how, when pushed to the brink, we can summon within us a willpower we never knew we possessed. This struggle is a metaphor for our battles against life's hardships. It's a reminder that no matter how dire the situation, we have the capacity to fight, to endure, and to survive. The escape from the grave is a powerful symbol of triumph. It's a victory over fear, over adversity, and over death itself. This victory tells us that no matter how deep we're buried under our problems, we can always claw our way out. We can emerge victorious, stronger, and wiser from our trials. So, next time you find yourself in a tough spot, remember the person who fought his way out of the grave. It might just give you the courage to face your own fears.